what's up YouTube tell you how and today I've got the review of the Xbox 360 arcade um, you can pick this up anywhere online or pretty much anywhere uh, store wise for about $1.99 and after tax it's somewhere around $2.20, $2.20 something $2.21 maybe but um, so it's not too costly so aside from that in the frame right now is everything that comes with it um, starting from the top left being the Xbox itself, right there being the power supply and cable, um, which is significantly smaller than the ones before. And also one thing is that the Xbox itself does have the Jasper chip in it instead of the Falcon. So it's going to run a lot cooler and quicker and more efficient and not overheat. So that's a plus. Still, Microsoft continues to hand out the standard audio video cables with the, sorry, with the three plugs. Now, why you're seeing this coiled up is because I have absolutely no need for those um, because I run my Xbox through HDMI. So, yeah. Um, of course, every Xbox comes with the wireless controller. It's just a matter of the color. Everybody knows the arcade comes with a nice white controller, black, sorry not black, the Elite comes with the black one, this one comes with the white wireless controller, works very well, and the games that come with it would be this one, Banjo, Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts, yeah, obviously not my choice, and Viva Pinata. So those two games are definitely not anywhere near my choice of games, but I was just putting that in there to demonstrate what comes with the console. So that's what comes with the console itself, so let's get into the review of the Xbox 360 Arcade. Alright, so in the frame right now is the much-loved Xbox 360 console. Now, many of you may be asking, if I had money for an Elite, why would I get this? Well, here's the answer. I went to Walmart, yeah, you can never count on Walmart. You know, so I went to Walmart and I asked them if they had any elites, and sure enough, they didn't. All they had was the Splinter Cell Conviction Pack, which was $400, which I didn't have, or this one, which was $199, and also I got a $100 um, entertainment pack, but I'll get to that later. So, basically, what I lost out on was um, the black console itself and 60 gigs of hard drive space, which I could really care less about because I don't need 120 with the Elite anyways. But in the frame right now is the console starting from this side. Um, right here we have a couple of USB ports, plug in your iPod, um, USB device. Um, yeah, I believe if you plug that in you can watch videos, listen to music off of those devices, M MP3 players, things like that. There's the power button with four indicator lights. Obviously, you can't see them right now because it's not turned on. Um, coming over this way, right here would be the disk drive and the Xbox 360 logo. And the open tray button. Right here is the sensor for all of your wireless devices. Right here is your memory unit slots and your wireless sync button. Um, the reason why the new ones, I guess, don't come with a memory unit uh, I guess they come with the in I guess they come with the memory built inside so it's not removable. So but it's the same amount that they would give you if they gave you a memory unit. I really I actually kind of like the memory unit that they used to give cuz you can transfer um, gamer profiles and gamer pictures and stuff like that. But I guess that's not that big of a deal. It's not really that much space anyways. It's like a quarter of a gig. Okay, so getting on to the top here would be just the spot on the arcade where you can undo this and on goes your hard drive right there. So let me just take you to a little demonstration on the hard drive putting on. Here's the 60 gig hard drive that comes with the entertainment pack that I mentioned earlier. I'll go over that in a minute. But basically to put it on what you want to do is you want to stick the hard drive right here, slide it back, and then just press it down firmly. And you should hear it click. And there it is locked on tightly and will not come off. And to get it off, you just press this button right here, 
and lift up and it just comes right off. So that's just where the hard drive goes. But for now on, we'll keep this on here for the video. Okay, on the bottom here, nothing to speak of at all, except for a little cover. Okay, let's go, sorry about that. On the sides here, I don't know if you can see, but there's little Xbox 360 logos. So, now let's get to the back. All right, so let me get this frame right. Starting on the left would be all the information and stuff right there on the chip that's inside. And there is the AC adapter in port. Nice fan grill back here and right there. Normally you'd see serial numbers, but luckily I'm smart enough to cover them. Because billions of people every day on YouTube decide to go, um, I guess in a way they can steal the identity of somebody's Xbox. Yeah, kind of out of my league, but anywhere, anyways, that's where the product ID and serial number might be if you need to find it on yours. And as you can see, there's a little outline right here and two clips where you can put a wireless module. Um, I'll have a review on that and just a little accessories review for the Xbox. Um, so on the top right there, you can see the AV input and the HDMI input. And over here, sorry, that kind of blocked a little bit. Let me move this a little bit. Okay, so you can see it right now. Here's the USB port that is used to plug in the wireless module and the Ethernet port. So that was just a little review on the Xbox 360 console, the arcade console. And I already told you what it came with. So let's do a little review on the entertainment pack. Alright, so in the frame right now is what comes with the entertainment pack. Um, it comes with three, these three things and a three month live card which I gave to a friend. But yeah, three months of Xbox Live Gold, online multiplayer, chat, yeah, whatever. But anyways, here's the important stuff. Um, the wired headset, standard Xbox 360 wired headset, no big deal. About a five foot cord on it, plugs right into the bottom of your controller. And right here would be the device where you can mute and unmute. And on the side would be the volume rocker. And a little clip right here. So yeah, that's fully usable and adjustable. Right here is the 60 gig hard drive. This is pretty much the larger part of this entertainment pack. Um, yeah, you wouldn't really have a need to get any of this stuff in this pack if you got an Elite, but if you got an arcade, this would be very useful to get. It's only $100 for all this stuff. So yeah, 60 gig licensed um, Microsoft hard drive. Right here is about a 10 to 12 foot Ethernet cable. And once again, I mentioned earlier the three months of Xbox Live Gold. So that's what comes in the entertainment pack. Um, if you got the arcade system, I would recommend eventually getting this. It will help you out in the long run. Um, because pretty much what comes in this pack, um, if you get the pack, it pretty much sets you up for Xbox Live. Um, so, because you have the hard drive, download stuff to, um, the headset for chatting with people, um, the Ethernet cable for your network, and the three months of live for the subscription.